Hey guys, this is Defend Go with Technical Analyst of Allies Flow. So in this video, I'll discuss about Bank Nifty. Now this is Bank Nifty daily chart, and I wanna draw support and resistance. And two things always remember when you are going to draw support and resistance. Number one, we need most recent higher and lower point. Number one, right? Most recent higher and lower. Number two. If remember, let me show you most recent higher and lower point. We have seen this is the most recent higher and the most recent lower. So we have seen there is a long gap in between this most recent higher and lower point. So if you find uh, the support and resistance or higher and lower point is too high, then we are focusing next step that is called most nearest lower and higher point right now uh, we can draw number uh, number one criteria because it is too far from current price current price is running here and we have seen the most recent higher point is too far from this area so we are script that uh, criteria and uh, you can see this is a support and it is also too far from this area almost uh, 2000 point are there right so next criteria we are going to use most nearest right most nearest point so let me draw some most uh, nearest support and resistant area so i want to draw here because here we have seen most recent uh, sorry most nearest and point why is it important so let me tell you we have seen price reverse and bounce from this area. So in that case, first we have seen this is a support. So after that, we have seen price broke this support line, which is formed previously. Now it act like a resistant in this area, right? And Similarly, we have seen this is exponential 200 moving average are exactly placing in that area. So we have seen three criteria are fulfilling here. So that is why we drawn as a resistance line at the level of 28580. We have seen this is a resistance. Now for the support. We can use number one criteria. This is called most recent lower point. Where is the most recent lower point? Now we have seen this is a most recent lower point, right? So let me draw a horizontal line. Now question is that can I draw here or can I draw in this body? So we have seen this is the body of this candle. So now I want to connect both of them. So we are looking for a range. We are not looking for right now a line. We are looking for a range. So I want to connect these two line. Have you seen? So I just connected and let me remove this one. I remove it. Yeah. Now we have seen this is the range of this market. Right. Now you can see this range are acting as a supporting in my our previous market behavior so we have seen there there are multiple rejection multiple rejection are there and now you can see here was a high uh, body of this candle and the tail are there so we drawn as a range right now you can see so this is called our trading range this area entire area this is our trading range and remember once they break, if price break this supporting line, we will start selling and we never gonna take buy again below. I'm not talking about above, below. And above, if price break this resistance line, we will start buying only and here start selling, right? So who people are doing in option, uh, they all uh, will be buy like a call buy put buy like that okay good now question is that we have seen this is the 
market rains why i drone always rains and a support and resistance you know okay let me clarify suppose this is our range of this market here and here and above this area will start by don't sell right don't sell and below this area start sell do not buy do not buy but in between this range because this range is uh, like uh, let me check it how many points are there there are 700 to 800 point in this range so we have seen uh, in this range there is almost 800 point are there how we can uh, miss that opportunity 800 point right sometimes it's take like four to five days to break this range right so what is why i always find out the range and the range you remember we are looking for sell below this range that means here somewhere here we are looking for sell when price reach that area we start selling from this area remember if they break this level we will start buying and we never gonna take sell and when price reach that supporting line we are start buying above like here by using various candlestick pattern various type of trading strategy who are using by indicator that is the important thing right now we have seen there is a three type of trading strategy below this supporting line that means here we'll start selling below remember not above below and above this range that means here we'll start buy that means here buy and in between these range here we are looking for sell signal and here we are looking for buy signal got it that is our daily analysis let's check it how it look like in a four hour time frame now for our time frame we have seen the price just create lower low and the lower high and the lower low and the lower high now fail to break this lower previous lower point right and if price not able to create a new lower low there's a high probability to reverse back from this area and it will be look like a double bottom pattern or some people are say like w pattern now another thing we have seen here remember now we have seen another supporting line somewhere here sorry not support raise stand line okay this one and at this call neckline okay i'll tell you wait now we have seen you can see this is a w pattern and if price now we have seen here we have seen buy entry but why i draw this line because this line are under construction of uh, what called w pattern or you can say double bottom pattern so if you want to enter here close your position we never know market in which direction will go it might reverse back again they will create triple top right so that is why we must close our position here and after that you can see this is uh, this supporting line sorry resistance line now which uh, if you want to see the previous market behavior there is multiple rejection and the support resistance like that right now almost 200 moving average are in this area so once they break this level we will start buying only so that means they form a double bottom pattern or w sorry uh, w pattern or double bottom pattern and the price are predicting uh, pointing toward another resistance line so later i will show you in the next video where it will be targeted right so that is why we must close uh, if you want to enter here for the buy, you close here around 28977. That is our next uh, target. Right now, question is that can I again enter sell in this area? That is the important question. And if you find any sell signal in this area, you just close in this area. That is the important, right? Because price is creating higher, high, higher, low. It might reverse and again might be 
like now let's check in a small time frame like uh, what call 15 minutes now 15 minutes to look like that have you seen now we can see prices follow here in a small time frame we have seen prices running in a downtrend because they are creating lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low now after that they are not able to create new low right they create a higher low and higher high higher low and but they are failed to create new higher high again create a lower low now it might be like that here similarly lower high and again reverse back now according to this market behavior in this range we have seen uh, market is running in a sideway because they are failed to create proper higher high and higher low you remember so when they fail to create new higher high higher low like that so that is called range trading so we have seen this is called range and the range trading i told you sell here sell here and buy here and buy here in a live market somewhere here buy entry and the buy entry if market reverse back that will be buy entry and here you can see this is a sell entry we have seen sell entry and price uh, looking for again sell here like that we are looking for a sell entry here so once they break this level remember price will continue toward upside so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and evening session you just subscribe my another youtube channel i already given link this below description and uh, you just uh, go there and subscribe so i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching